I'm about to create this ridiculously awesome burrito, adding Tostitos and mac and cheese. Oh, I gotta go in the fridge and get some mild cheddar cheese. So, I'm gonna kick off with some with a flour tortilla grande. Okay, you don't want to, so. Hang on. Get a spoon out. Open up the meat. Okay. So what you want to do is probably scoop up the amount of beef that you like. I mean personally I would put up a large portion, even though that's kind of unhealthy, but who cares? And this is my 600 subscriber special. So I'm making this big burrito to celebrate my 600 subs on my channel. Okay, now let's close that up. Next, we're gonna put mac and cheese. Show you the meat. Yum 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 yum. <laughs> All right. Put some macaroni and cheese. Okay. And to crunch it up, we're going to put some Tostito scoops inside it. And kind of crush them up a little. Kind of make it preserve for room for the toppings. So, next we got some mild cheddar cheese. Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle that right here. And next we got some onions and tomatoes. Or is that lettuce? That's definitely lettuce. No, those are onions. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, if you cut up onions, it might bring you to tears, but who cares? Onions are awesome. 
could work in a hamburger, but it could work in a taco or a burrito. All right. Next, we got some lettuce. We're gonna do some, put some icebergs in it because it usually works in tacos or burritos. And by the way, my uncle, also known, also known as Spaz McGillicuddy, he used to work at Taco Bell when he was in high school. And sometimes he can make awesome things just Mexican food based. But anyway, aside from that, Last but not least, I'm put some sour cream in it. Voila! And last but not least, we're gonna wrap this up. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna show you the process here. So I'm gonna put it against the macaroni and cheese tub. So, here we go. Sorry. It gets a little messy when you try to wrap it, so be careful doing this. Oops, a little rip. It'll it'll be okay. And Here you have this gigantic mac and cheese.